So, since we know the stepping motor steps per revolution is 200, 200 steps per revolution, we also have the driver set at 1 16th. So for every step, we're going to have 16 steps. Multiply those together, then you have 3,200 steps per revolution. Now we'll have to consider the mechanics that we'll be using. It can be a timing pulley, a drive sprocket, and I'll use the drive sprocket as an example. I know that the pitch is quarter inch, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine teeth. So I can take nine and multiply that by 0.25, and I'll get 2.25, and that's inches. We're looking for steps per inch. So we simply take the this number here, which is 3200, and that's the steps, and then we divide it by the number of inches, 2.25, and that will give us our number for steps per inch. So we have 3200 divided by 2.25, and we have 14, 22.22 repeating. If you are considering using another type of device for mechanics, what you'll need to know is the, the pitch, like we do here, which is 0.25, and the number of teeth. I know that this is 0.2 inches, and then you just have to count around the number of teeth, and you'll find this number here, which is you're multiplying the pitch by the number of teeth. Now when it comes to lead screws, I generally use a lead screw that has two turns per inch. To get the lead out of that, the linear inches, you'll need to know how far it will travel with one turn. Because in the previous example, these devices or these mechanics are turning one time to get this number. And that's how many inches in one turn, which is one turn of 3200 steps. So in this case, in one turn of a two turns per inch lead screw, you've got, it's gonna travel 0.5 inches. So what you do is you take that number, you take the 3200, and you divide it by 0.5. And you'll notice that that is 6400, and that is quite high. So we know that 1 16th microstepping may be too much for a lead screw. And anyway, you'll need more torque for a driving lead screw since there's more friction while you're turning lead screw and anti-backlash nut. So if it was at a quarter, 200 steps per revolution times four microsteps per step, that would be 800 steps per revolution. Now to get the steps per inch, we take the 800 and we divide it by the number of inches of travel, which is 0.5, and we'll get 1600 steps per inch, which is what you'd be plugging into Mach 3. Okay, now we need to plug in the numbers that we just determined. For the steps per, which is in this case steps per inch, we determined 1422.222 for the x-axis. And my velocity, I'm going to use 700 inches per minute. And the acceleration, I'm going to go to 5. And I'm going to keep the rest at default. And we have to make sure that we save the axis settings or nothing will be written. And press OK. And we can go ahead and try to move the motor. Let's go ahead and do that. That's going at 700 inches per minute. Let's go the other direction. And you'll notice that the, the acceleration or the velocity was ramping up using the acceleration of 5. 